enter the Peacock. Look at the blue. Skater Johnny Weir because his outfit is so extra vagant. Good thought. Good thought. I chose to become the peacock because we both share a love of the spotlight. When I was five years old, I walked onto a stage for the first time. And from that day on, I was hooked. Piano is a clue. Putting on a show is in my DNA. <laughs> It's giving me Vegas vibes. But it's probably been a while since your mom had a poster of me on her bedroom wall. I guess it's not Johnny Weir if he's been famous for a while. As my dear friend Michael Jackson once told me, Ow! if you're going to reinvent yourself, you have to become someone the world has never seen before. So here it goes. It's never too late for this showman to make a comeback. Love it. Very flamboyant. I'm excited. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Searching in the dark, your sweat soaking through the floor. And buried in your bones is an ache that you can't ignore. Taking your breath, still in your mind, and all that's real is left behind. Don't fight it, it's coming for your run and it's your voice your fever dream, can't you see it getting closer? Just surrender, cause you Gosh, I know that voice. Over. It's fire, it's freedom, it's flood. He's a open. performer. It's a preacher in the puppet, and you find a potion. Except the brick and let the brick of every wall that's holding all you know. So tell me, do you want to go? It's coming in the <laughs> knows what they're doing. And they got style, too. I was gonna steal them shoes, Peacock. I'm gonna holler at you later. <laughs> Gang, what do you guys think about Peacock's performance? Oh, my gosh. What a way to open up the series. Yes. It's the greatest show. It's probably the most bizarre show because I'm talking to a Peacock. <laughs> but, like, I didn't expect that. Your voice is like, oh, it's like butter. It was really good. And it, and it, it was, like, mature. It's like, wow. I was really just impressed. Obviously, he's a trained uh, performer, professionally trained, been performing for many, many years. It's very uh, obvious. So true. All right. You picking up on any hints already? Judging by your voice, it's definitely a woman. I can definitely <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> and I am so loving that blue outfit. Now, I have no idea who you are, but <laughs> afterwards, I love to wear that and look fierce at an after party. Right. <laughs> get in line. Get in line. I mean, this might be a little bit on the money, but uh, could it be Hugh Jackman? <laughs> Hugh Jackman's like 6'5". He's a lot taller than, the, than that peacock. Hugh Jackman is 6'5"? I, I mean, at first I was thinking, because of the song choice, I was thinking Zac Efron, but he's no. they, from the Clue package, he's much older than that. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, you know, I definitely feel that Vegas vibe. So maybe a comedian in well, Vegas? Yeah. Well, Vegas, I definitely got the Vegas thing. Maybe mm -hmm. somebody like Jimmy Kimmel, he's from Vegas. Jimmy but I don't Kimmel think he... can't sing. <laughs> I think an overall performer for sure, but like magician vibes. And it's very, that color is like living for Vegas. I don't know any musicians who can sing like that, though. That was pretty impressive. Have you ever been a part of a magic act and was possibly mauled by a tiger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
I have never been mauled by a tiger, but I have been part of a magic act. Good question, Nicole. I'm thinking Teller of Penn and Teller, maybe? I was feeling that. I cannot wait to find out who this is. This is much harder than I thought it would be. We definitely have our work cut out for us. All right, well, the case is closed for now. Let's hear it for the Peacock. Our panelists thought one of these celebrities might be under the mask. Who do you think it is? Vegas. He's so Vegas. Oh, it is, right? Outfit. If Liberace yeah. was alive, I would think yeah. it was him. Yeah, yeah. 